today welcome to weird chess quotes on leechess.org and so where are we oh yeah twitch that's it twitch and leechess.org ponda arena six i've actually gone with the, the classic sparkle horse arena title but to be accurate this is officially officially the ponda arena six rapid tournament Yeah, people won't know what people won't know what the Panda or Ponda Arena is. So, when I've done it in the past, it's kind of been difficult to get as many players to play. Um, okay, let's grab the the link so you guys can join the the tournament. I'm gonna throw the link there in the Twitch chat. Ziegbert. <clears throat> Siegfried Tarash. Asterbate is back. I don't see you on Leech Us, Asterbate. Sorry for your girlfriend's family. Um, that's like my house sitter. He has something in that neighborhood. Nine or ten brothers and sisters. Okay, guys, we're going to be playing a rapid arena here in honor of the Ponda. Ponda, where are you? <clears throat> Ponda's camera is frozen. We're going to leave it like that. So I hate resetting it. So you can see the Ponda, he can see you. This is in honor of him. Blobe. Blobe, 75 FM. Or Blobby. Good evening, good morning, and good night. <clears throat> Wherever you are in the world, it's good to be here. So guys, we're having a Rapid Arena 7 plus 3 um, casual. I'll throw the link out there again. Earlier, it was like thunder. It wanted to be like a thunderstorm here. I have a skylight, and um, I'm waiting for the rain to start pouring in. But so far, it's sort of sidestepped a direct hit on the city. Alms is here. Another good player, Alms, 2172. Thanks for subscribing, guys. Someone on sound didn't even answer you. Hey, what's up? The arena is 55 minutes or now. It's in 10 minutes. Starting in 10 minutes. Starting in 10 minutes and 55 seconds. Looks like a match until now. Yeah, we're usually getting 7 or 8 or 9 players by the time the thing starts. Guys, grab the link and join us. We tend to have 40 to 50 players. Karyakin, Carlson, 95, Smeshnikov. Um, I did not see that yet. I feel like the whole 95, Smeshnikov is kind of a teenage phase, fad of sorts. It's always, it's always been playable for white, but I think it's like a fad now. I don't think it's as good or better than the, the main lines of the Smeshnikov, but maybe somehow you don't have quite as fixed um, set narrow paths that you go down. There's a little more perhaps tension in the position that remains. I've never really been a huge fan of those structures. Gelfand lost a really bad game um, in the European Championship to uh, the Yesipenko. Gelfand's actually had like numerous games in that line too. Move 11. <clears throat> Clash Kid, what's up? High Lagger Bing, Bing Bong. High Lagger Bim Bomb. Guys, join us in the tournament. We're about to start in like nine minutes. Rapid Arena, 7 plus 3 casual. 
People want to beat Carlson. I'm sure, they're better than Caruana. The cough. The cough is, is not really good. I've got some kind of asthmatic condition with my my cough, but um finally gonna go to the doctor on Thursday. A doctor. So we'll see. Sparkle Horse Arms, big money. Loopy Pie Loopy, thanks for asking. The more I talk, um, the worse it is. In the night I don't cough at all. I mean if I if I exercise heavily or or talk a lot um, I start I think it's like exhaling a lot um, exhaling and inhaling a lot causes me to cough <clears throat> sniper chess Sean Ferry I, think I have congestion in my lung that doesn't want to come out probably need some proper medication I was sick for like a week and I didn't take anything then I got the wrong kind of rubitussin for like a dry cough Probably like made it worse. All right, Sparkle Horse, Oms, Freddy, Big Money. <coughs> well, my mom and I are still both alive. That's good. Her pneumonia is apparently a little bit better. She still doesn't look very good. She's expected to survive. That's good. But nobody can be sure what the future holds. Let's get some more players in here. Sparkle Horse, Arms, Freddy, Big Money. Only four. Let's go, guys. Yeroon is here. Some good news. Every day I see my mom, I think the opposite. Like, one day she seems like she's getting better, and the next day she seems like she's getting worse. It's really from day to day. Um, good news are good. Clash Kid, can you play? Or are you just here to... Uh, to hang out with us. You don't want to play me, so... <laughs> Nobody wants to play the highest rated player in the first game. I think that sucks. The thing about arena tournaments, in my in my view, is that um, I like to warm up against like weaker players, like a Swiss system where you're playing the weaker players first and it kind of builds up to playing the stronger players toward the end. You're better and more warmed up. I'm not warmed up in the beginning and I don't like the fact that in arenas, the highest players get paired with each other. I find that to be like very negative and a disadvantage. It's almost like a handicap um, against the stronger players that they have to overcome by playing each other early on. I'm afraid of Alms too. He's too solid. Chest, Chest Hostron joined us. All good players so far. 1800 plus. Freddy. I haven't really been following the Gashimov tournament, been too wrapped up in worrying about personal stuff to really follow chess news. I followed the European Championship a little bit. I've only seen like two games from the Gashimov. I didn't even care about the US Championship. What else is on the horizon? No, actually that Sveshnikov game cost Gelfand. He ended up finishing a, ha a full point behind the leaders because of the game he lost against Yesipenko. It kind of defined his European championship. Couldn't recover from that loss. Made a really, really bad positional mistake at one point. Allowing like White to trade off his bishop pair. It was really instructive. I might end up doing that game for chess lecture. So guys, you can also check out my videos on YouTube, video chess training on YouTube. Good to see you, Jim. Guys, tomorrow is Wednesday. We're going to be streaming again in the morning, 10 a.m., Weird Wednesday, Unusual Openings and Blitz and Rapid here on the Chess and Twitch. So I kind of do my streams like back to back, evening, morning, then have a break. And then again, it's like evening, morning. Please subscribe. <clears throat> I don't like this Tarash quote. It's kind of random, but all right. It's just for fun. Just quotes for fun. 16 viewers thus far. Five entered in a tournament. I guess I should throw the link out there a little bit more so people actually know what they're doing. We had a, we had a, 
Let's see, we had um, Yeroon lurking. Infinite Flash Chest is not here, though I saw him. Thought I saw him on earlier. Oh, my favorite chess code from the top of my head. Mate with the two bishops in the middle of the board. That's better than sex. And I was there to witness that quote from Emery Tate, international master Emery Tate. That's probably my favorite live quote. <laughs> it was made with the two bishops in the middle of the board. That's better than sex. And and this is an amazing quote by an amazing person. All right. <clears throat> Sparkle Horse Arms Freddy 1 1. Chestosterone. Chestosterone would like that quote. Big Money AP87. And then a new player, Jan Prude. Is the stream lagging? Normally people are bitching and moaning um, when the stream is lagging. So the fact that there hasn't been too much bitching and moaning sounds like to me it's you. We're ready to get started. <coughs> Three minutes. Someone on sound. Seems pretty right on to me. Yeah, I think we're good. So we got seven players. Yeah, this is typical. Seven to nine players before the tournament starts. And then usually we get like 40. Um, although a lot of them play like just one game. I'd like to see it get up to like 50 players or more. But move 11's here. No spectacular camel, no Asterbay. Asterbay had to go out and walk the dog. Dog day. AP87. Uncle Monty, another new player I've seen here a couple times now. Good to see you guys. Yesterday, Mr. Coffee was around. So was it yesterday or maybe during my simul? It's really nice to see some of the players like Yeroon is lurking in the chat. Nice to see some of the players who, you know, were around on my stream when I started like two and a half years ago or whenever it was. Was it three years ago? When did I start doing this? I don't even remember. The years just go by. Oh no, you don't get to choose what quote on the... I, I definitely wouldn't choose this quote. I'm embarrassed of this quote. It's sort of cheesy and, and random. Sean Ferry. Another new a new subscriber. Thanks for subscribing, Sean. Uh, actually, not he didn't subscribe, did he? He was just... A, I'm sorry. We had a new subscriber. That's Blobby. But Sean Ferry, no. He was a follower. Maybe he will subscribe. <clears throat> All right, guys. The real Grambit. Ten players to start. Seven plus three. Everyone's afraid. Of, who's afraid of alms? I don't like this pairing system. I'm not warmed up. I didn't play a warm-up game, and I have to play like the highest-rated player other than me. Of course, it sucks for him worse, but still. Um... This arena system is really weird, but that's part of what makes it fun. Berserking. I can disable Berserk, but that would be kind of unfun, even though I don't Berserk much, especially in Rapid. Good luck, guys. <clears throat> All right. Um, I had a new idea. Tried to play the scotch against Nefidov in the simul on Sunday. That didn't go well. That's not happening again. <coughs> Apologies for the cough, guys, but gotta get to the doctor. Alright, so 
Against arms, we had the same Spanish. Spanish torture. He plays the Chigorin variation. I had a new idea. See, this is kind of not, in my mind, that's not the main line. There's a lot of different moves that I can play, like Rook D8, Bishop D7, Bishop B7, C takes D. But Knight C6 is a move, like, last time I just launched into this, like, automatic variation I think I had with Lengiel Bela in Blitz at the Hungarian Chess Federation, like, six or seven years ago. But this Knight F1 move, I was studying this in um, Swayton. You have those books, Alms? This is Sport Fair Log from Germany. Sweden has a book on the Rulipez, and, and the move is attributed to Karpov. This move, A4. It says the knight is more flexible on D2. Last time I played knight F1 against Alms, I've been doing very deep, deep research. The Sport Fair Log, Spanish book by, by uh, Alexei Sweden. It's like from the 80, early 80s, maybe, you know, circa 1980, I don't know. But it's a German, you know, publishing. It was a, I don't know if it was West German, but um, German publishing. They wrote, they wrote all these fantastic, they published all these fantastic hardcover opening books, you know. You, you must have seen them. I mean, there's like millions of them, yeah. There's like millions of them all over the world. I, I see them all everywhere I go, yeah. So, last time I played Knight F1 automatically and did the, the whole G4 thing. Right, so this is the analysis according to Swayton here to play B4. But this is the first time I've ever played this. Alms probably knows this because this is what he plays. But anyway, I thought I'd give it a try. You know, it's funny. Something I discovered in the bathroom today is relevant <laughs> in the stream a few hours later. Small world. <clears throat> Toilet reading. All right. I just keep like chess books all over the house randomly. You know, some are strewn over here, some are in the kitchen, bathroom, living room. This one happened to be in the bathroom. Not touching the Bob. Bob would normally go there, but maybe he's, he stepped away from the stream. Toilet humor is Bob's department. So first of all, we get to, we get the A file, which creates a new dimension. Chess opening traps and zaps. That's. But I Horowitz. So <clears throat> in the book, it's giving like knight b7 with the note that it and if reinforces or guards the c5. What does that mean though? Like am I supposed to take on c5? Maybe Ams' knowledge is more Pandolfini? Oh. Maybe Alms' knowledge is a little more modern than 1980. Hmm. So if I take on c5, he's taking with pawn. And what is that? Where does that leave us? The, the Chessic Twilight Zone. I presume he would take with the pawn. Then he has the knight coming to d6. Sorry, Bloby. I think I made it very, very with small requirement, just 10 games this week. Usually I'm more strict, like 15 or 20. <coughs> um, hmm. So if I take on c5, should I take on c5 anyway? 
Yeah. That'll at least create some power pawn. The pawn of power. We have the pawn of power, but no plan. We need the plan of power. Not too many available plans here. I mean, C4 is bad news. That's not happening. I guess we'll continue with the random stuff. Jim's like, what? What? Triple X question mark? Blue-eyed albino got banned for cheating. Bob, are you just randomly claiming people died again? Or... Is that an actual factual claim? Nothing surprises me anymore. <clears throat> Although he wasn't, if that's true, he wasn't the most first person I suspect. It's almost impossible to tell anymore if people are cheating or not. Like, I need some adrenaline. Where's my coffee? Well, he can't be enclosed doesn't mean he was a cheater. <coughs> Maybe there's other reasons your account could be closed. Does it say specifically why? <coughs> It says fraud. Suspicion of what? This computer, this player uses computer assistance or what does it say? How do you even know that, Bob? You like randomly go down a list of players every day and check them or? <clears throat> you like check off on your, on your checklist. This guy died. This guy was, was accused of cheating. He appeared the next day after Tushar was banned. Ah. But he claimed he was from Poland, right? You mentioned something like that before, before Bob. The fact that it was like blue-eyed albino. Like, some sounds so opposite to someone from, like, India. Is that, like, a... To a, a, a leave suspicion? To make him sound more Aryan? We won't think of... Dark-complected people, or... Is that the theory? Um, the working hypothesis? But how... Did you even suspect the connection in the first place, Bob, by the way? Sounds like you have inside information or something that you're not revealing your sources. F6. All right. Time is going to be a problem here. The pawn sack. <clears throat> I guess I could just like make a random move. For the sake of time, it's like I'm in some sort of bear hug when I play with arms. It's chess wrestling versus chess boxing. Very different sports. Playing arms is definitely not boxing.
So you can be banned and unbanned. Well, that's sort of logical. I mean, they should be able to correct mistakes, which inevitably should occur. See, this is the problem. It's like playing the closed Sicilian in a five minute game. There's not enough time to play a quality game. It's such a closed position. We're going to end up just randomly shuffling the pieces around. But actually, it's still not as bad as that other line. He's rehearsed this before. You avoided me. No, you avoided arms. How would you avoid arms? I don't understand how you avoided arms. I have to play arms no matter what. <laughs> you got bored and read the source code for cheat detection? Relatively simple. That's interesting. Leave it to someone on sound to have extra random time to do things like that. Life is good. Well, I mean, whoever he was, Blue Eyed Albino, didn't go out of his way to appear to be a cheater to me, that's for sure. They seemed very, like, liable to make mistakes, even really big mistakes, fairly often. He made quite a few, like, one move blunders. So, they weren't trying to blow me away. I can't take this in. I don't know if I can take this anymore. <laughs> All right, man. I mean, I'm gonna offer draw you. I, I'm just, I'm just treading water. It's just a nightmare. It's a locked nightmare. I'm not gonna do this. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Let's end that game, okay? I feel like I played checkers just now but that's my first time my only excuse my first time playing that that line didn't do so good with the other line all right <clears throat> Freddy's in first place plenty of time left you're welcome arms But I like this a little better. I like playing A4 a little bit better. The fact that like, there's a little bit of chance to play on both sides seems somehow a bit more fun than the all in on the king side variation. Um, Fide Master Stephen Lowe. Okay. So. <clears throat> Jim, thanks for the donation. Jim getting on the board. Someone on sound getting on the board. I didn't even mention someone on sound's donation, or maybe I did. Um, I'm going to run out of time there. Boss, I like I played g6. I like g6 against knight f3 better than against e4. Alright, well, I guess I'll play kings in the end. Knight f3 followed by d4, so Fide Master Stephen Lowe. He plays a specific move order. It's like a, allowing the Grunfeld, though. Most people who play Knight of 3 don't like to allow the Grunfeld. Oh, not this again. H3. I don't think he's really a Fide Master. It's kind of weird to make your screen name Fide Master when you're not really a Fide Master. But whatever. I'm not really a Panda. This is the Panda Arena 6. A boss like is Fide Master Stephen Lowe. Boss like. Soltis. I once played Maxim Bluegi with white, and actually, he did something like this with black. 
I wish I had time to like track all of Magnuson Carlson's Magnuson Carlson's Blitz games. I'm not like you know someone in sound who has time to read the <clears throat> time to read the <laughs> the Leechess source code. Um, man, I wish I wish I had a lot of time to do random stuff. So <clears throat> against Lugi, I, I think I played Bishop D three, but it was so long ago. It was twenty years ago. And my, like the one of only two or three games of my life, I played with h3. Um, I had lost with it like once or twice, so I gave it up. Um, source code for cheat detection. That's what someone on sound did for fun. So g4a. It's kind of violent, isn't it? I guess I should play like e5 at some point. There really is no other plan. I had a game with a Hungarian Fide Master like a couple years ago, this kind of low rated guy. And I got a disastrous position with black and just offered a draw. And he, he's much, much weaker than me. So he accepted in a, much, much better position. This like cowardly player. So far away playing the opening like he was Tomaszewski. It's unusual to see someone at this rating level play H3. Usually it's kind of a sophisticated system, mostly played by masters. Any Fide Grandmaster has never played any chess game in competition. Riddle. Yes, problem composers, grandmasters. I don't like bishop takes c5. You're going to miss that dark squared bishop with white. The mind is not a prize. <clears throat> <coughs> All right, I don't know about this. He has to take back, I think, with a pawn. He tried to take with a knight, but... Yeah, maybe he can do that too. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> BG4. I apologize for my, my cough, guys. I've been talking a lot today. Something like four hours. So. If anybody has like an asthma inhaler, they can loan me. Could use it. Available by prescription, unfortunately. Your only chess riddle, and it was solved in three seconds. 
So I was having dinner with Gary Prasparov. What? We had a checkered tablecloth. It took him two hours to pass the salt. Oh. That's pretty bad. <clears throat> pretty bad. Here we go with another ridiculously locked position. I got to get in F6. Quickly, 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 no time to waste here. Try to bring some pressure down on F2. Juicebox, good to see you. Nakamura. <laughs> he looks like a wolf man. All right, <clears throat> from a distance. Eddie Monster. Um, breaking out. Rook C8 is kind of interesting. I'm just playing on intuition at this point. Don't try to castle queenside without permission. <coughs> Slicker lad, I don't get it. Rather play like for what purpose? Like your your chances are better, or just for having the experience. <coughs> My chances would be slightly better against um very slightly better against King Crusher. Check. Check to the chicken. Chicken check. The king is almost mated in the middle of the board there. Two bishops. Our chess quote of the day. Meet with the two bishops in the middle of the board. That's better than sex. <clears throat> I'm not in any condition to be saying these quotes with my coughing attacks. <laughs> Found a defense to stay in the game. We're zoning in on him. No bad bishops. It's a tribute account. Uh oh.
That's a serious threat. I was like calculating all the stuff with bishop d2 check, but I didn't see how it works. really really irritating the real why can't my king hide on h8 actually hmm that's a pain so now what am I gonna do This is going to be very difficult to win now. It's going to take me forever, ages and ages, to make progress here. He found this move instantaneously. It's kind of disturbing. Not a lot of places to go, though. Hmm, I guess that's it. Oh well, dropped a piece. Wasn't rook of eight better than b6? Yeah, I didn't think about it long enough. Of course it was better. I could have allowed queen b7 check, but I'm not a computer, you know. I didn't really think he had anything. I didn't see rook a3. I mean, I thought he's just dead. He was basically dead. But I like how he saw rook f3, like, before I even played it, you know. Like it was just normal to put your bishop on f3. Um, like he expected me to do that or something. So whatever. Interesting account. Anyway. Who's winning the tournament? Freddy has 10. He's pretty fast. Obviously I'm not a computer. <laughs> Rook a3, you know, it's funny, I saw it, but I didn't think about its, like, potential to capture things, like, on f3. I only thought about it in terms of coming down to b7, I was so, or, or c7, I was so focused on on what it could do over there that, for me, it didn't have any ability to to capture something on the king side. This is not really a good opening to play, and um, I guess, you know, if you're really trying to win against the lower rated player. But you gotta play something. Yeah, I only realized a little too late that he really didn't have a big threat, so... The problem was there actually... Um, Yeah, Bloby's right. Queen takes b7, king h8. He was he was toast after. I spent all my time thinking about crazy bishop d2 check and and all these like mating attacks that don't work. He like wiggles out and walks away. So eventually, I was just like, okay, whatever, let him trade queens. But now I'm 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 facing some difficult questions. I think there. I mean, it's not even clear who's better. Even though I'm up a clear pawn, I'm gonna lose it back. 
And um, white might even be better after rook a3. Sick as that might, might seem. I sort of underestimated him because he was playing some anti-positional moves and, and also way behind on time. But then he showed this ability to move instantaneously when necessary at the end, which is interesting. Recommend the chess master versus chess amateur by Uva. Actually, um, I might have seen that book, but I'm not really sure. I don't think it struck me as um, as anything special, but but maybe I should see it again. Now, now that you mention it. Nightmare. My last game was a nightmare. I get them all the time. I definitely had this game before. I think I had like the exact same game against a little kid in a rapid tournament, like in, I don't know, like 2013, around there. <coughs> well, I recommend you, you, Uva's middle game book all the time, but that particular book, I've never recommended here. So, High Legger Bim Bomb, that's a, a series, Chess Master versus Chess Amateur. Yeah, I mean, anything Gelfand does is, does is like scientific. <coughs> I lost to that guy, John Shaw. Remember, <laughs> I lost him with white and a Slav. That was very putting off, putting me off, off putting. Maneuvers for the dark squares. Well, now we're, now we're in classic territory. <coughs> Good dark square. Dark square chances. I've been playing positions like this since the onset of the Sicilian for me, because I used to play in um, in the Skaveningen gun a lot. Lalo's score against me isn't bad. He's got four points for his rating. That's not, not too bad. A lot of draws, a win. I remember the win now that you mention it. Playing very dynamically there. <clears throat> but um, this is a crazy pawn structure. You defeated Chestrogen? You're kidding me. There's a Chestrogen? Testosterone. You're kidding. Oh my god, there is. Chestrogen. Against Testosterone. That's ridiculous. You guys are crazy.
typical sexist outcome. Testosterone beats chestrogen every time. Problem is that chestrogen has not enough S's. They're short of S's. <clears throat> Actually, it's funny that chestrogen has just exactly 10 games. What are the chances of that? The requirement for this tournament was 10 rapid games, and Chestrogen has exactly 10. But they couldn't have, like, just, you know, randomly, uh, no problem at all. They couldn't have just randomly created the account because it's got, like, 1900-something. They're not, like, resigning 10 games to, to make a rating. They're, like, legitimately 1900-plus. It's Chestosterone's alter ego, I think. <clears throat> He's operating both accounts. Exchange hack for the monster? Right? That's what the little kid did. Someone on sound. You think like exactly like my rapid opponent, but he he gave me the exchange for a pawn, then he resigned a little while later. So move eleven syndrome. Obsession with direct attack. Feeling like you have to do something. You always have to do something dramatic. Just chess is inherently a boring game, you know? We don't have to do something dramatic every moment. Wait, wait, wait. High leg or bim bomb, but still you know nothing. Jon Snow at Freddy. Who is Jon Snow? Here comes the... Here comes the exchange sack. Courtesy of... <laughs> our friend. Oh, it's the main character in Game of Thrones. Okay, because I saw the reference recently. And I never watched Game of Thrones, so when I saw the reference, you know, and now saw it again, I knew something was up. There was some account here on Lee Chess that called themselves Jon Snow, but it wasn't really Jon Snow. Because they had like a FIDE rating card with, with their real name on it. So I was like, well, why are they calling themselves that? Alright. <clears throat> Man, F4, F3. <sighs> but F4, F3 is not enough. five so here we go like the last game our opponent has like way less time but I'm having trouble really making progress here same situation where I basically hung a piece last game I've got them completely under pressure but they hang on, and they have a third the amount of time as me, and then I don't know what to do. The problem is f4, queen f2, and then and then I have no no nothing. Probably I need a little more sleep. I'll be fine. Yeah, I thought about h6. Doesn't do a whole lot. <laughs> You're just putting a pawn on the dark squares for the sake of it.
Now F4, Queen E4. I guess I don't really need my queen on c5 anymore. Fridge is making some weird noises. I'm not feeling particularly fresh today. A little bit, not enough sleep. <clears throat> okay. Thanks guys for joining me for the Panda Arena. Panda, he can be in two places at once. It's like an Enderman in, in Minecraft. Hello. I can teleport. Welcome to the Pondo Arena. Anonymous Cheerer cheered 120 bits. The birdies are chirping. Should we go with like G5? It's just getting worse. really principled play by white. I wouldn't want to play a computer here. <laughs> Even though black should be slightly better, I guess, on paper with a strong knight, computers play like they're even scarier to be black. <laughs> okay, what's up? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, he won the trade queens all along. That was his whole plan. What bishop? I'm scared. I'm happy about that, I guess. I had F4, maybe. And the bishop, bishop is a happy camper. Another G pawn. Pawn chain versus pawn chain. Well, now he sacks the exchange. Prison. It's King Prison. You're not allowed out without a weekend pass. Man, tough game, Lalua. Finally won one. Draw, a loss, and a win.
Clash Kid. That was previous to my game. All right. <coughs> Freddy with 18 points, just. Why E5? Because I forgot I could take with a rook. Um, where was my rook? I think I just forgot. Not because I wanted to, but it wasn't good enough. <laughs> bad? Was it bad? Rus? Um, all right. Chestosterone in second place. I need to play more games. These games are ridiculously long. Come on now. I gotta play open positions. Just blow you guys out tactically. What's with the three hour games? Oh man, chestosterone. Whatever. It's just um, play for mate. <laughs> I'm just fooling around. Chestosterone probably gets us all the time from the under 1800 crew. Yeah, he, he was prepared for that. May not be that bad for white, actually. Whatever this is. Chestosterone beat chess. Chestrogen. Chestrogen. Now, each four is consistent. Uh oh. Now, G4? Wow. Wait a minute here. G495. That's fairly good for black. Castling into it. G4, not a good move. You're actually offering me a pawn here, but I don't. I don't think I want that pawn. Bishop G5. Okay, well, we can play. Any number of moves. Caveman style. I'm, I'm tired of my games being 800 years long, you know. I just wanted to play like an open position. And I've got all these opponents who, every single one of my opponents forces me to play obscenely closed positions. Arms with a closed row Pez. The other guy who plays the H3 classical Kings Indian. Then the last game, um, Actually, not really a closed opening, but the structure became very closed. Marazzi. Now this. Is it me, or is it my opponents that are making me play these, like, locked, very locked structures with, like, all the pawns on board? It's not... I don't want to play like this. I want to have some open games, but... I need some cooperation from my opponents. Stinger eight seven should have a sack before you got all the counterplay. Um, Chess explain had this epiphany. Why life isn't about the London system or what? Scotch. <clears throat> Scotch went really well. Definitely an opening you should play with no theoretical knowledge. Noodle, noodle vendor. I'd like. I'd like go for some Cambodian noodles right now. Juice box. That sounds <clears throat> excellent. How's the cuisine there? What would you compare it to? You're you're an expert. No. Chess noodles. I'm not sure where he's headed. But all I know is that I didn't get, I didn't lose my G4 pawn. Some crazy attacking chances. Though F4, knight G4, and he's locked in. <coughs> I don't want him to get locked in on G4. We need to be able to oust him.
They do past life regression therapy, Bob. Should try that sometime. It might help. <clears throat> I lost my appetite. The proverbial night B1 or night to D1. <laughs> No, I heard like some, I read some article about someone who went through like therapy to stop being, whatever they call conversion therapy, or to stop being gay. I saw an article, I don't know, it was on BBC. This woman had to undergo like some ridiculous like past life regression therapy. And that's at the point where she knew that something wasn't right about this. Like, it's not really that scientific at that point. Something about that doesn't seem very scientific when you're doing past life regression therapy. Testosterone getting all, getting all positional with me. Look at that. I should have played A3. Wait, wait, wait. Every country has some kind of recipes with like blood and intestines. <laughs> then like normal in Scotland, right? Night F four. <coughs> <coughs> I'm not even on the list. Like, what is going on here? I'm number 14. I have three points. How does Freddy, like, have so many wins already? <coughs> Last time... He let me catch up the last Pondo Arena. Another. Now what do I, now what do I do? I give up. <clears throat> yes, of course. Good idea, T Dark. Consistent. Bob, you dine on, on bones and gristle. Montgomery burns. Bob has a lot in common with Montgomery. But now he'll take and I'll take with the queen and I don't like my game anymore. <coughs> How is everybody the same? They're all using their time. It's not fair. Okay, I don't know. At least I get rid of the knight on e5, which is driving me berserk. Queen takes e5. Bishop d2. I'm 
Man, this guy is tough. What just happened? I guess they just sacked the pawn. I don't know if Black played this game like the positional genius. Guess I'm sacking a piece. <clears throat> it's kind of interesting, actually. No danger whatsoever. It's completely safe. Maybe that was too sharp too, Bob. Between the complexity of the position and the time, I might have a chance here. I'm threatening like F6 with compensation for my sacrifice piece. Whoa. Yeah, obviously I don't want you touching that channel. Don't touch that dial. It's Bishop from Hell. Can you lend me another rook, please? All I need is my A rook. <clears throat> Too late. If I wasn't in check, I would play rook takes h5. And that's next on the agenda. My queen is in take now. Oh, you had that. Oh my god. So here all I have to do is like take on g6 and actually it's not that simple. Another time management masterpiece by my opponent. Whatever. Wow. 
it's insane. So I'm, I'm winning here with F takes G6. Hold on a second. I just didn't think black could possibly even invent a way to defend this position. There was enough comp, you think? It's at plus 21. And I managed to lose this position at plus 21 with rook takes h5. Thanks to T-Dark, who suggested rook takes h5 in the previous move. But I didn't see that this guaranteed the win, but I have rook takes h5. Okay, well, whatever. Good game. Playing well today. <clears throat> I don't understand how this guy, Freddy, has so many wins so quickly against all credible opponents. Like, what is he doing? Is he like berserking every game? He's basically berserking every game. His performance is 24-58 so far, winning every single game, even though he's 19-13. And he did it all in like five minutes. Interesting. But why would you berserk back against him? I don't understand. Like, how is that a good approach? I don't see the point in berserking back against a player like that. Now I'm on tilt. <clears throat> Every game I have like a three minute time advantage and a winning position and I, and I lose or draw. Um, So, I'm a little impatient tonight. At least it's unrated. It's going to be like my worst result of all time. That's ridiculous. I didn't see he could play queen takes g5. I don't know why people do this knight takes c6 thing. I literally have no clue why they play that. Juice box, are you playing? Here we go. So he's instant an instant mover too. I get I get I berserk against the player who moves instantly. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Never played this player before. 1600, no bullet games. No, he's got 15. All right, I guess we'll go into the end game. <coughs> he's playing bullet on the one berserking. Very strange situation. Why are you playing bullet in a seven minute time control? Pawn takes. Interesting. Comes the ambulance. Oh, I missed knight c5. The ambulance, I wanted to say. Whites. Four, 
For some reason, people think that playing faster is a good method against the player who's berserking. I don't really see the logic behind that. You, you should take your time and, and like make them pay, you know, with the clock. It's like chestosterone, why would you counter berserk? It's the opposite of what they should do. You should take your time and torture them by playing super solid. It works pretty well. <clears throat> Mate in two. All right, that worked because he played into my hands. I actually got some points now. Maybe I can finish in the top 10. Ricely. Clash Kid has perfect score. AP played 20 games already. <sighs> Bob. <clears throat> Guys, tomorrow if I'm still alive, we're going to play uh, Mock My Performance. Well, I hung a piece in a unclear position, and I hung a piece in a winning position. Well, sacked it. <sighs> Alright. But at least it's been easy to just resign. You know, I just, like, lost a piece, resign. There's nothing to do. <laughs> it was a cool game. I was, I was proud of that sacrifice against just Hosterone. That's the second game I lost just testosterone in the last last few, interestingly. Okay, Xerox is pretty strong, and uh, I'm not going to berserk against him. 2200. He plays bishop c4, right? We had this before. I had a good um, game with him, a crazy game in this line. But I had another game with Tomislav Sok. So Croatian I am, or FM. The guy was sacrificing pieces all over the place unsoundly. Hedhog. <laughs> Hedhog. That's cool. Kind of funny. Play the Hedhog. I also play bishop c4 with white, but I don't play Velimirovich. It's queen e2 system. Xerox and I had previously played this line, and I had some crazy game where he sacked a piece, and my king was wandering around. <clears throat> Did you have the opportunity to meet Georgi Bocci? Bocci? Uh, Living Legend as a problem composer? Blueby, do you... Do you really know a lot about problems? Um, no, no. I don't know too much about the chess problem solving world. It's it's kind of a like little microcosm of the chess world. I don't know. Like it's a separate universe. The problem people don't necessarily, you know, move in the same circles like tournament players. No, it's like Benko. Paul Benko is here somewhere, still alive. He's like ninety-one. Um, I should, I could ask him. Well, this is normal, I guess. I'm just saying, I know Benko does endgame problems, but um, he's interested in, in, in chess problems, in, you know, in general. So he's one of those people who crosses over between the 
chess playing world and the chess problem world. But his specialty, obviously, is end games, you know. Not just like general chess composing, but maybe he does that too. It's amazing, he's 91 or 92 this year. Yeah. I haven't seen him in years, though. He's he's around, though. I, I know, know someone who saw him, like, last year. We would know if anything happened to Benko. Be international news. <clears throat> okay, Xerox. Seems like last time we played, I would have played the same way. Maybe he did something different. I'm not quite sure how to play this. If you take on b3, they can take with a c pawn. b4. Bishop a4 check. That shouldn't really be a problem. And those ambulances are really gone at it today. Man. Crazy ambulances here. Like the ambulance center of the world. I'm supposed to take this pawn? Or we could play just like rook b8 or something. I'm a little bit concerned about this. Antonio, you're you're leaving. You you just got here. You got a buy in the first round. Or you're saying buy. <clears throat> um, I'm not even in the top ten. I had to resign a couple games due to oversights. Okay, I don't know. I'm out of my book here. There's a lot of knights on the A file, and the church bells are ringing, the, the ambulances are going, there's all kinds of noise. Very hard to concentrate. There's um, almost a thunderstorm tonight. I had to leave the window open. Chestrogen, the sister of Chestosterone, Freddy's in first, Risley, Mercy, Morsi, Morsi. I knew an Egyptian guy named Morsi, actually. He lives in, ironically, he lives, he lives in, Austri in Austria. Chestosterone, Clash Kid, AP87, Uber, Chestrogen. Guys are doing better than I am. So, knight e6, bishop e6 type sacrifices anyone? Knight d7. You might as well play bishop e7 at this point, I guess. But that actually makes the sacrifice stronger later if I play knight e7. What's with the church bells, actually? Why are there church bells at 8 o'clock? Is it like Easter or something? Um, now I don't know what to do. Now I'm screwed because knight e6, bishop e6, pawn e6, knight e6. I should have played knight e7 first. I guess I have to go here now, and then and then comes that queenside thing. So I'm playing like Zlatko Lincic now. h5 in any position, just randomly. Any Sicilian just do h5. Yeah, I might as well, and my king is stuck in the center anyway. Um, we'll just live with it there. Church bells are just ridiculously out of control. 
Churches everywhere, taxis. <laughs> Can't even open the window without this crazy noise pollution. There are ambulances for the most part. There's an occasional fire truck, but 90% of them are ambulances. There's, there's the hospital very close by. You know, stone buildings in Budapest, it's not like the West where everything's made of wood. Not as many house fires as in, say, like the United States. Um, these older buildings are, are tough to burn down. Blubby. They're like the, the three little pigs. Build our house out of stone instead of wood. Um... I think at this point I like white a little bit. It, it's hard to do anything for both colors, I guess. Maybe you can play bishop g5. This is the same thing every game I have a time advantage and then my opponents just like defend brilliantly in, in their time pressure. Rook c1, a very mature move from Xerox. setting up c3 so we're in a sidestep now he might he might even have knight b6 but that's like a whole piece to sacrifice <clears throat> enough is enough I could actually castle at this point. There's also bishop b5. 94 sacrifices. I don't mind this so much anymore. Bishop a4. What to do after that, though? Enough is enough. Where is my, where's my threats? Bishop b5 is an interesting move, but he just plays c4. Probably should play c4 anyway. <coughs> then maybe I can take on a4 and try b3 the knight d7 idea occurred to me but there's a kind of weakness on c6 so i wanted to get my king out of the center you know that's this maybe i if c4 i take on a4 and play b3 followed by queen d7 obviously this move never occurred to me none of my wildest dreams would i even consider that move That can't really be good, can it? Yeah, but he's focused on this, I think. Okay, whatever. Just take. Are you going to take on a6? That's an amazing move to play. Who would even play that move? Not me. It's 
just weird now. Queen d2. Amazing positional game by White. And wow, what? You have that. Am I lost? Just lost? Yeah, you don't see the Velomirovich player play like this with White. I'm just wasted. It's like a positional master. Not my day today. He likes to be 2200. Well, that may be a mistake, though. I have this. Give me his Wichenzug. Now black might be okay. You don't see the Velomirovich playing like a positional style game normally. The Velomirovich player with white is usually like sacrificing pieces for mate. He's playing like CB4 on the queen side. Ricely now. The other 1900 is ahead of Freddy. <laughs> Knight c6. Interesting pawn structure. The positional Velomirovich. <laughs> He's got everything under control. That bishop is really annoying. He lost on time. I was lucky I was losing. I'm in ninth place with eight points, tied with Uber driver and Alms. What happened to Alms? I'm lost. <laughs> Alms lost the game. I thought he was almost unbeatable. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, this is a strange uh, sort of variation. What's this guy's deal? Who is this player? 2026. He's just played a mass amount of games. Is he berserking? He's played 11. <laughs> How could you get to play so many games already in this time control? No, I've got to I've got to play fast now. Only, oh uh, yeah, counter berserk helps me. I think. Wow. Just throws the moves out there. That's a strange decision, though. To give up his white square bishop, not a good plan.
Now I have to do it. Okay, this is just weird. He had queen queen d6 there. So that was kind of strange. <coughs> Knight f5 was coming. I'm not sure who's better here. It's an amazing move. He's got a draw against me already. Certainly not a passive player, cheesy noob. He likes trading stuff. Hmm. Not really better here. The ambulance again. 1700. He's faster than me, stronger than me at 1700. That's a good move. Am I in Zuzwan yet? I don't know. Maybe the ratings here are getting a little bit deflated. I mean, people who are 1700 play really, really well. This is a solid game by Black. I don't like, I don't like G5, but it should have been a draw. Got him in rhythm. What does that mean? Now what do I do to make progress? What? I don't think he's paying attention to what's happening though. Wow, what's that? No 
joke chest hosting for 30 viewers. It's the first good thing that happened today. Thanks, no joke chest. Ambulance stream. This this tournament has been no joke either. That move is kind of weird. I don't know what made me play ninety six. We were getting a good streamer. Oh my god. Not today, folks. Sorry. Not today. Playing pretty badly. So Riceley's in first place. I'm in fourth. Can we finish third is the question. Freddie and Rice. Freddie just got 22 points in five minutes. And then um, with his 2458 performance, mowing down six people in a row, like berserking every game. And now he's just sitting out while well, this guy just keeps winning now. But he's got a normal performance. I played like badly. I'm finally winning a game or two. Five points for that win. Wow. Uber driver. Oh no. Might as well just offer a draw now. <clears throat> what can you do against a guy like this solid? The only way to beat him is on time. Yeah, Freddy went to eat. He's taking the day off. We got a mainline Nimzo with Uber driver. This will take 15 minutes at least. That's um not a good opening choice by me. He's a little strong to berserk against. I don't really like berserking in this time control. I was just hoping to finish at least in the top three, which would be totally undeserved. Transposing to some kind of IQP position. Be cool in the chat to the Uber driver. No, Uber driver knows us. Uber driver has been driving. My Uber. Uber driver, there's no Ubers here. My Uber app. Nope. Just an empty map with no little cars driving around on it. Sucks. No Ubers in Budapest. Sorry. <clears throat> Freddy beat Bombus with two cent upon loss. What happened? Bombus resigned on move three or something? He does weird stuff. Last time I forfeited a game against him, and then he forfeited two back to me. Someone on sound added two bits. What happened? You you that put you in first place. Someone on sound. Up in first place now. I must play bishop b7, but it's a little too early. Uber driver is the worst pairing I could get. Extremely, yeah, that's the lamest bit wherever. We got 112 bits from Asturbate. Someone on sound 111. I don't deserve any. I played so bad in this tournament. Dropped a rook against turkey farm. I dropped a bishop. Another game. It was a great game against Turkey Farm. I was proud of that sacrifice. And I was plus 20 and lost. That's pretty sick. To be plus 20 and lose. My performance rating. Probably around 2100, I guess. <coughs> But losing to the 1700 um, hurt me pretty bad. Yeah, I'm probably not 2100. Never mind. Probably around 1900 performance. I might be 2000. A couple wins. Um, I can get to third place. No, Arms is ahead now. I gotta catch up. But this game is a bad pairing. 
Look at my score against Super Driver. Almost all draws. I lost once and like four wins. He's like 2200 feet A strength. But a much different style than like Xerox. More solid. Playing Queen D3. It's weird. So I should take this. Bishop c3, queen d3, bishop e4, queen e4, knight e4, bishop d8, rook d8. What's that? Well, it's like a kind of normal Nimzo structure where <clears throat> at least he's got the fixed weakness here. Performance 2042, yes. <coughs> Trying to trade off his weak pawn. Routine Karpov formation for black. I drew Fritz like this once. <laughs> Something like this. Long ago. A very old version of Fritz. At the time I was proud of <laughs> proud of drawing Fritz Fritz seven or whatever. <coughs> but compared to today's engines, um not a big deal. Alright, Uber Driver. <clears throat> You're standing in the way of progress. <coughs> Tomorrow, 10 a.m. Weird Wednesday. 66 viewers, thanks to No Joke Chess and my wonderful play tonight. No doubt, pulling in more viewers. I had a tough draw early on. Then I lost two games very stupidly. Basically just dropped pieces. Um, look, all my pieces are developed. How about you? Queen d3 don't work because of bishop e4. Even knight e4. <coughs> but you want to trade his bishop pair off. The 15, 1500 level. Hey, dude, knight g4. The fishing pole attack. Bishop h7, king h7, knight g5 check. Almost fell for that. Astor Bay would have fallen for that one. Because that's his favorite, his favorite idea. Trade the bishop off. Lock him down. <clears throat> this is a lockdown. Uh oh. Okay, knight g5, knight f6. Spartaco, we played a chest 960 correspondence. Of course, I imagine Spartak. Fairly common name, um, like Russian football team. Or... <coughs> this pawn is a real liability. Pawn ability. So our last game was a draw. It was sort of similar to this. No, the Simul game. No, I'm thinking of my game with Merle. His cousin Merle and I have a lot of games. Uber's cousin. 
as well. The pond's a little, a little bit of a weakness. <coughs> <coughs> If I'm not dropping my pawn. Did you have 95? Stay out of E5. My only chance is to beat him on time. Grab all the space. Space free roll. G3. Sacking a pawn for structure. Hi, D to B. Ponda. <coughs> Sorry about this guy. We got to take him to the doctor. Got to get this cough looked at. All right. Ponda, that's enough. You're, you're right here going to the animal hospital. It's right next door. All right. this position yeah this is a draw all day long too symmetrical I think I guess the Knights though I mean the pawns kind of being close together technically are good for me you don't want the pawns to be too far apart with the, with the Knights the Bishop would be happier for the pawns to be far apart but it's complicated enough that I feel comfortable like trying to win Especially with the time situation. But I just don't imagine that I can win this. Maybe on time. But then, then the tournament will be over by the time this game ends. It's like ridiculous. That's why I was dreading this pairing with Uber Driver. He's going to drag it out till the, the cows come home with a very solid game. It's like getting paired with alms. Solid player who plays really correctly. Except for his fascination with the... Um, his obsession with the... Uh, Pajarowitz. playing a little bit too passively now oh that's your idea so what do we do next play um night night a3 is coming f3 wow that's weird <laughs> it's the ultimate bishop So what are you trying to say?
something I can make myself. In the middle of the board. It was our joke earlier. Tournament over yet? Knight D6 check. Knight C7. This is weird. Almost self mate. Feels like I'm overextended here. Someone said knight d5. Mate! I knew I could self mate myself. Someone on sound. Almost did it. Not quite. <coughs> oh man. Alright. That's, that's gonna be a problem. I need a good move here. Damn it. Knight a4. My goodness, this is sort of demented. Finally coming unglued. I don't think I deserve to win that. Riceley started losing games. Unbelievable. He lost one game. To Clash Kid, oh no. Where's Clash Kid? He's on 15. Our oh, arms, this is a perfect pairing. That's perfect. Nine minutes left. Can I hang on to third place? That's the question. Who's Clash Kid playing? Clash Kid had to go to bed. Oh no, he's playing now. Who's he playing? Is Clash Kid winning or losing? I can't even see because this stupid thing. He's playing Laos. Wait. Oh, he's just totally better. But it may it may be a draw, actually. What's with the time situation here? What's this guy doing? Laos has a draw against me. Why does he use thirteen seconds for the whole game, dude? What are you doing, Holmes? Using thirteen seconds for the whole game? That seems ridiculous. Can reclaim the win. The win? Too risky to berserk? Um, I'm trying to hang on for third place because I can't possibly win first or second. You can reclaim the win? Because I left the game. You're allowed to claim a win? Because I looked at another board. <laughs> <coughs> I didn't know that. You had the option to claim the win? Oh, that's weird. Hmm. I didn't know it did that, you know? That's weird. I thought, like, as long as I'm not, like, analyzing a game with a computer. You should be allowed to look at another board during your game. Um, 
Especially in a tournament situation. That's weird. <clears throat> Very sportsmanlike of you, Oms. Not to make the claim. Could be. Yeah, I didn't know changing the tab would do that either. Of course, I've never seen it from the other perspective, but. What if I opened another tab, right? That's okay then. <coughs> normally I, I don't leave the, the board. Normally I would I would open a second board, you know, on another tab. Just to see what's happening in my competitor's game, maybe. <clears throat> like Nefidov. It's a weird move. Probably not good. Definitely not good. I thought that he was going to play g5, but that's not his style. I guess this is just bad for me. Hmm. No, maybe not. <clears throat> Why should it necessarily be bad? Maybe it's good for white. At least we got him out of book. <coughs> <coughs> Clash Kid is on another night end game there. So it's a draw. It's a nightmare. So Clash Kid has 129 games against me. I was saying earlier this, this week, um, Mule Skinner is approaching 200 games. Nefidov has over 200. I was wondering if anybody else had close to 200 games on my stream. Maybe I should play A3, but it's sort of slow. <coughs> Tournament's going to be over in a minute. This is slow. <clears throat> oh, you like queenside castles? I didn't even, I didn't even consider it. It's probably a good move. I'm blinded. Turkey farm. I can't even see you at queen takes g5. So, what do I know about calculation? I missed some really blatant moves today. Rook takes f3 and queen takes g5. Guys, thanks for playing. Congratulations to Ricely. Freddy's second without even playing half the tournament. Now we're better. I like my position. There's a question of time. It's a Grandmaster. Slight advantage here for White. <coughs> Turkey farm is probably right. Castle queen side. Even now. Probably best. Playing too quietly. Only two minutes left though. So I should have gone for it.
spatial. Wedge on the queen side kills the bishop. We're definitely better, but time's a problem. <coughs> I'm just going to offer a draw here. I'm never going to win in two minutes. I might as well grab some points. Tournament pairings are closed. Tournament pairings are closed. So Clash Kid can't catch up unless he was on a streak starter. Oms keeps his lead for fourth place. I wanted insurance that Clash Kid wouldn't catch up to me. That's the draw offer. Very strategic. What a great performance by me today. Guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> Being a little sarcastic. 61 viewers, thanks to No Joke. Um, Pondarina 6. A couple of accidents early on for me, and a draw with a couple draws with Oms. Um, it was fun as always. I don't know how Riceley did it, how he played 16 games or <laughs> whatever it is. FM quality play, at best. You found your name in the Ch Chess Life 2018 yearbook. <coughs> <coughs> what is that, like a list of titled players from the United States or something? Candidate Master. I agree with Jim. I think my performance today was below my usual Fide Master level. I think it was, yeah, we're pushing Candidate Master. I'm old and sick, you know, it's like, normally I'm just old, so I'm, I'm, I'm playing FM level, but I'm like old and sick too, like sick and tired, tired and sick. So sick and old makes me candidate master. Basically I'm playing like, like as if I was, as if I was like 65 years old, the future me, ton of lists. So yeah, I'm at least on the, I am, it must've been a mistake chess with Chris. Obviously, the way I'm playing today. <laughs> Equal to your idol. What can I say? So Clash Kid never finished that game, or what happened? He's still playing? Are you kidding me? He's still playing. Wait, no? What happened? That's weird. So the game just doesn't count. Okay, is he... So what happened, finally? They're still playing. Oh, no. I'm confused. White is coming this way. Well, that's weird. Laos. Whoever Laos is. Is um, giving Clash Kid a hard time there. Game doesn't count for the tournament, folks. So, Risley first place. Nice job. Where did he come from? Freddy took the day off. He lost a game against Patriarch. That's weird. Um, so, he came back to lose a game after winning the tournament. Second place, he thought first, but only second. Sparkle Horse, third place. My performance rating, 2111. Very nice result. Couple of losses. This game was great. Or I dropped a piece. It was awesome. This is watch this. Replay, instant replay. Rook A3. Black to play. I was afraid I was worse. Because of rook c c3, rook c6, and rook c7. So, I was like, all right, let's queen our h pawn. And I'm going to bring this down. So I played bishop f3. Yes! An excellent move. He instantly saw it, and I resigned. And the other great game that I lost, just our highlights from today, this game against chest, <laughs> chest testosterone, where it was plus 20. It was around plus 20 here. Plus 22.5. And I did this. Bishop H. This was a crafty move, like the only defense. You know, and I'm just too too caveman style. Rook takes H5. Brilliant. Like I'm already down a piece. Let's sack another one. I thought, okay, it's over. Oh yeah, you've got Queen takes G5. Oh, I didn't see that. Nice job. Resigns. So this was deep. These were deep losses by me. Anyway, guys, arms tough as always. The final position against Oms, by the way, I think I'm better there. I think I'm better there. That game is worth looking at, actually. I tricked him with some weird move order. This is actually a line. I didn't even know that. And I played this random move. So I'm right. You're supposed to play G5, but I thought I thought that would be like not really your, your cup of tea there, Oms. 
I was afraid of g5. The final, maybe in the final analysis, it's not that good. This is kind of a cool line. Wow. So takes, takes, queen before check, knight d2. And is, is that good for me? This is tricky. I played a good game. Wow. Zero, 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 10 cent upon loss for white. My final effort. Just turkey was right. Castle's queen side. <sighs> but yeah, g6. I guess you have to do f5. It's ugly, but it's not as bad as g6. Yeah, this is this is good for me. We found even this lame continuation. C5 is a really strong move. Because on queen takes b2, he loses a piece to rook b1 and rook takes b7. So after this, I have an edge. Unfortunately, there was no time. Anyway, guys, it was fun. We'll see you back tomorrow. Congratulations to the top 10. Rice Lee, Freddy, myself, Oms, Clash Kid, Uber Driver, Chestrogen. Chestrogen. The sister account for Chestosterone. Mercy, Chestosterone, and Lalo. Good games, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. If I live that long, hopefully. I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Thanks from the Panda. The Pandas. This was Panda's Arena. Panda Arena 6. Hey. Give him a break, okay? He's had a hard, hard couple weeks. So, maybe, maybe this week it'll be better. Alright? Don't forget to support the stream. Bye-bye. Thanks, Panda. Goodbye, goodbye. Bye-bye, bye. Later, guys.